Hey friends, this one is going to be amazing. Uh, last tour, I talked about huge works of art. I've linked that below if you missed it and why those were phenomenal and what I look for in big works. This week, we're going the complete opposite direction and looking at tiny works of art that are my favorite. There's three tiny shows on view right now. Miniature masterpieces made from crayons used incorrectly expansive landscapes in tiny packages, and when the thread count of canvas matters. And then I'll close by making an argument why tiny works of art are my absolute favorite. We'll kick it off uptown at the Arts and Leisure Gallery. This is way uptown on Lexington Avenue between 100 and 101st Street. On view right now is the work of Chambliss Giobi. He recreates masterpieces in art history from the 16th century to contemporary art out of melted Crayola crayons. It's, it's difficult to resist, first of all, treating his exhibitions like a, an, an adventurous scavenger hunt because like everyone is here, Picasso, Duchamp, Hockney, Twombly, Goya, Albers, Vermeer, de Kooning, Hopper, Van Gogh, Rothko, Richter, Bacon, Fontana, Warhol, Magritte, Monet, to name just a few. In fact, the, the biggest in the room, uh, and I think his biggest to date, is this Monet. It's six inches tall by four feet wide, made entirely out of melted Crayola crayons. And so, so to answer a couple quick questions uh, th that I had, uh, there are 120 colors of Crayola crayons. Chambliss is using way more than 120 colors, which means he is mixing a melted Crayola crayon wax that was not intended to be mixed, let alone be applied to a paintbrush and then hit a tiny canvas before it 100% dries. So, so much of this is, is purposefully making things really difficult for himself, purposefully challenging himself, which is the reason why he chooses many of the images he does to reproduce because they, they feel impossible to be recreated with melted Crayola crayons. A couple of my favorites is this tiny Edward Hopper. It's two inches by four inches. And this six by six inch Magritte. He's nailing texture. He's, he's, he's nailing colors. Oh, if uh, you, you can't venture to 100th Street or you don't live in New York, the, uh, the gallery website has done a 3D virtual walkthrough of the exhibition which is particularly helpful because you can zoom in really close, but also zoom back to understand the scale of these things. Okay, before I go farther, I wanna give you a little hint about why I love tiny works of art. Tiny works of art invite you to get closer. There's a, there's a magnetism in them to get as close as you possibly can because of their scale, right? And therefore, they invite a greater scrutiny or examination or pickiness at brush strokes and the finer details of canvas. To an extent where usually when you see Chambliss's paintings online on a website, the, the photograph of them is bigger than the thing. So it's exaggerating any potential errors. So he's, he's a bit of a masochist in, in recreating these masterpieces out of Crayola crayons on that scale, which will lead us all the way downtown to Tribeca, to the Nickel Bouchain Gallery, to look at the paintings of Eleanor Ray. Unfortunately, this show closed a couple days ago, but I, I want to give you a walkthrough because it blows my mind. 